WMC Memphis, WMFS HD2 Bartlett, Memphis. Part of the Memphis Sports Network with 92.9 FM ESPN. ESPN 790 AM. Watch the sun rise, new days dawning, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee. We've got woodlands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no better way. You can find. a friend, but don't delay. Listen up and learn about it all. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Listen up and learn about it all. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Good Saturday morning. Welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors Doors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790, brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Play me some music, guys. Woo! Come on, come on, Russell. Oh, all right. Where's the yelper? I don't hear a yelper. I got to hear a yelper. Yelper man, go. There we go. All right. I love it. I love it. Oh, the, the, the turkey. Open the door and let the turkey out. There he is. Hey, man, this is one of my favorite shows. You guys know that. The, uh, my turkey show, and we're getting ready for the season here. Mississippi's already open April the 2nd. Uh, we'll be kicking it off here in Tennessee. Arkansas, I don't keep up with it because they got too many split seasons and too many <laughs> zones and things like that. Um, Greg Ratliff taking care of us this morning, back in the saddle. And now we're going to switch gears, and after talking to uh, Billy Yargis and Chris Parrish, which was a great thing, we're going to switch over and talk to our good friends at uh, Hunter Specialties. Uh, you know, to Outdoors with Larry Ray and uh, has had a wonderful relationship with Hunter Specialties over the years, and we're glad to have on with us this morning Steve Cobb out of South Carolina, Union, South Carolina. Good morning, Steve. Hey, good morning, Larry. I had to get in a truck. It's I'm scouting for in the morning. Our season opens up in the morning here. All right. Well, we won't want to take you too long. We'll, we'll just spend about two minutes. No, no, no. Just hang on. <laughs> hang on for a while. And Steve, uh, Union, South Carolina. Where is that in the state? It's it's going to be in the upstate of South Carolina, between Greenville and Columbia. So I'm 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 from upstate South Carolina. What is what is what is called? And I'm actually hunting in the low state this in the morning. So oh, you are. I'm okay. Down in the low country right now. Okay. Well, all right, Steve. I know that. Uh, a long time, and we talked to these other pro, uh, pro staff guys and everything, and uh, I know you said you killed your first buck at the age of 13, which blows my mind uh, for someone to, to, to do that. And, you, and we've, when we've talked to people about the difference between competitive calling and regular turkey hunting. So let's hear your, your take on that. The difference between competitive calling and, and, and calling to the live turkey? Yes, yeah. Uh, and, you know, everybody tells you there's a difference. But let me tell you this. I have hunted my whole life uh, for these wild turkeys, and I use my actual competition calls in the woods. Do you? And a lot of times, I those are the calls I use. And because on stage, I want to sound just like a hen, and a lot of times on stage I get poor scores for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're honest, man. You're telling that for a fact, Ed, because because what you have – and, and do you are you a decoy man? I tell you what, we came out with the snoods at HS, yes. uh-huh. and I, I use the snoods. And I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, had very good success with them, along with my hen rendition of the hen. Yeah, uh, he sees that, and I'm telling you right now, it's been a this past weekend was youth weekend here in South Carolina. Yeah, I called one in for a little boy, 11 years old, his first turkey. I actually had the snoods out there in the, in front of the, front of me, and the turkey came in real good, real close, 20 yards. Bam! He made his first shot, and uh, it was a great hunt. 
Wow. Wow. And that's uh, those youth hunts. And I know some of you guys in here, uh, Bill Cooksey is with us from, from Mid-South Hunting and Fishing News. And, Bill, you're going to have uh, your boy. Next Saturday. And that'll be his last youth hunt, right? Last, last one for him, yes. So that is, means he is uh, 12, 13? 15. Uh, he, golly, he's 15? He's 15. <laughs> you are getting on up I know there. it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it means a lot, doesn't it? It does. It oh, really does. And, I, and I'll tell you what, Larry, the next day I took another kid, and uh, it took us all morning to get one to gobble. I mean, I must have called at 40 <laughs> different places. <laughs> yeah. And finally got him to gobble at 11.15 and called three old ones in, and the little boy killed the first one and said, can I kill another one? And, yeah, you can in South Carolina. So he shot another one, and he wanted to kill a third one. I said, no, 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 <laughs> don't shoot <you, don't> <laughs> How old is he? Was he? He was twelve years old. He's killed five turkeys, and I've called all five of them in for him. Oh, it's, been the la- it's been a great, great uh, last couple of years hunting with this kid. And that's the thing about it. We want to introduce this sport. And again, we're talking to Steve Cobb. He's a member of the pro staff and hunter specialty. He's our good friend Mike Caps. Uh, and Steve is out of Union, South Carolina. And, and uh, tell us how you got into tur- turkey hunting. Uh, how old were well, you? Well, my my my. Uh, uh, Friend Billy O'Daniel will be my mentor. He won the Grand National and the World the same time, same year, excuse me. Uh, Billy O'Daniel from Union, Carlisle, South Carolina, actually, and uh-huh. he introduced me and gave me my first turkey call. So, anytime I do seminars, I hand out turkey calls to all these kids because I'm gonna tell you what the youth is our future. Wow. Well, we're talking to a guy that won the South Carolina Junior Calling Championship five years in a row. Five yep, years in a row. I was a junior. I won that as a junior five years in a row, and and then at nineteen I won it, uh, and I'm an eight time South Carolina state champion and a five time South Carolina junior champion. Wow, wow! So uh, you, you you like the sport, then, right? Yes, sir. I sure do. And 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 Sherry, I'm I'm a big time member with the NWTF. Last night we had a NWTF sponsor dinner uh, for 150 different people. Tony Satchery was the Louisiana guy. He came uh-huh. down and he cooked steaks for everybody here, and uh, it was just a great event. Can you imagine the NWTF banquet with 130 sponsors? No, I cannot. But no, I can. I, yeah, yeah. In a way, I can because. Uh, if you've ever been to the, the, the NWTF National Convention in Nashville, I think the population of Nashville doubles during that week. I mean, I was there. I was, right, I was Steve up Turpin? There. It Steve? sure was. I emceed a couple of the contests and judged a couple of the contests. It was really neat. And Steve Turpin is in here with us from the Turpin Game Call. Steve, uh, you've been to how many conventions? Since you, you, you forever. For t- 20 years. I've been going for 20 years. And, that, and Nashville, yeah, Tennessee 20. is the best place in the world to have that particular convention well it just is so it's a it's an unbelievable time i just wish we would get the uh, the memphis sport and boat show off that weekend and we did this year and didn't have it the same weekend here in memphis but again we're talking to yep. steve cobb so steve i, I know uh you, you know when you get right down to it things are, are hard i know you're you're a member of the bass pro redhead field staff and uh our good friends over there but hunter specialty has been good to you too hasn't it Yes, sir. Over the years, and I've been very fortunate to come up with different calls that they've actually produced. Yes. Uh-huh. That's kind of my, my thing is I, I actually field test all the turkey products and uh, really, really have been great to me over the past years. And Cutting and Strutting have done a lot of television shows with them. Yeah, and he mentioned earlier about the, the Snood Turkey Decoy line. And, you know, I, I've got, uh, you know, they've got a rebate program. You need to go to Hunter Specialty's uh, website because they've got a, re, uh, a rebate program for the the, the H, HS Strut Snood Turkey Decoy Line, which is hard to say uh, real fastly, but um, <laughs> but you if you if you check it out because they got some rebates coming out on that, it's a wonderful decoy. And Steve, we appreciate you being with us, buddy, this morning. Continuing success. Uh, we've got your number now. Know how to find you. All right. That sounds good. I'm gonna get out of the truck and go listen and see if I can find one in the morning because it opens up here in South Carolina. Tomorrow morning, I'm ready. Go for it, buddy. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Steve Cobb. Uh, And and we're going to switch in right now. Our good friend Otha Barham is on the line. Uh, He's been in the woods this morning, so we won't hold that against him. But I wanted uh, Otha out of Meridian, Mississippi, to come on because he's got a wonderful book, Spring Beckonings, uh, Gobbler's Call, and We Must Go. Good morning, Otha. Good morning, Larry. How you doing, buddy? Well, I'm doing good, and I got a good excuse for for uh, being late calling in. Uh, you know, God made turkey hunters at, at the uh, 
when his main angel was protesting and telling him he ought not to make such people. And, and really, the the brains <laughs> are part of what got left out on us, and we kind of we kind of uh, we don't have it all, you know. You don't have it but all. He decided to make some of us anyway, and we're all just running a little bit short because. We get we get uh, hooked on this stuff, and we can't think of nothing else. I couldn't even think to call you. I killed a bird yesterday, our opening day. Yeah, and and, 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 yeah. and it just took all all my brains that I had. Really. Yeah, all the brains you had. And how old are you now, Otha? I'm 80 years old. 80 years old. So you you got so, we, we, Petrie. See, did you hear that, Petrie? We got somebody older than you on the show. No, no, no. I, I'm a young man. I'm only going to be 78. That's what I'm saying. We got somebody younger than you, older than you on here. He said we couldn't do that. It was impossible. <laughs> yeah. And he's still killing turkeys. Yeah, me and Otha are older than dirt. Yeah, older than yeah, dirt. Oh, yeah. I, I've heard that. But tell about, tell our listeners about the book, Otha. Uh, well, in the introduction, I explain why we're all running a little bit short. Uh, it, it, it tells about the, the struggles that uh, God had with his uh, right-hand angel to decide <laughs> yeah. to make us. You know, we're, we're addictive like no other sport. Well, I got my foreword written by Mr. Tom Kelly. Yes, you did, and Tom I got, Kelly. I got the uh, endorsements that, by Jim Spencer, Jim Castor, and Jill Easton. Now, how do you beat those folks for endorsing my book? You don't, and I've got that'd be about the top four. I, can I think, think of. that'd be the top four, and I've got an autographed copy here that uh, from Otha here, and inside it, I, I've kept that little feather in there, you know, Otha, uh, because it didn't go anywhere. And, and I've showed people this book and told them how to. Uh, there's great. There's actually pictures of Otha when he was young. I've only known Otha when he was old. You know, so I, yeah. I, I, I didn't realize what a, you could. Not, well, you weren't a bad looking guy when you was young, Otha. Well, well, that was shortly after Columbus discovered America <laughs> when I was born. What is it about turkey hunting you like, Otha, at 80 years My old? My goodness, it's so addictive. What I like is if they whip me, that's the story I tell. Yes. You know, once I kill him, I don't I don't need to tell that story anymore. But my book is about uh, all four species that I've killed and hunted and didn't kill through the years. I got 38 stories in there. And... Uh, there, there, I've written one turkey book. That's ever, That's my whole turkey life right there in that book. Well, it's an easy read, and where can they get it, Otha? The best thing to do is to is to call or write me, email me, and uh, I've, I've so far I haven't got it on uh, Amazon, uh, and so that's a, that's the way to get it is just email me or write me. And you can Google me and find my address or. I can give you that now. Uh, yeah. Email email is good. Obarum at Comcast dot net. That's the easiest thing. That's Obarum B A R H A M at Comcast dot net. That's uh, it. Or you can uh, look up the Meridian Star. I bet they got a picture of Otha in there someplace. So, yes, uh, they'll have my stories in there. You can Google me and find uh, stories in uh, Laurel Leader Call Meridian Star and. I'm getting lazy now. Don't write many uh, magazine articles. I'm writing for newspapers. <laughs> well, you do it, buddy. Thank you, buddy, and I, I'm glad we got you in, and we'll see you at Gaston's in about a month, okay? Thank you so much, Larry. All right, appreciate you, buddy. All right, let's take a break, guys. Walk, walk us out of here, then we're coming back with Alex Rutledge. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Go! I love it. Be right back on ESPN 790. You can find out all. Outdoors with Larry.